2020 was a crazy year for all of us. The mysterious new coronavirus. In fact, we've been talking about this is the fastest 12% loss uh, in history. Everybody and their grandma became investors. Buy Tesla. We were no different. We saw an opportunity and we jumped in. Sometimes we were scared. Sometimes we were excited. And the whole time we learned a lot. I'm going on an adventure. So where are we now? And what have we learned from one year of investing? My journey started when I realized the opportunity cost of not investing. If you never invest, you never lose money, but you are never there when the going is good either. My viewpoint was that, okay, I might lose some in the beginning, sure. People always do when they start out. However, the knowledge I will gain in the long term will far outweigh any lost capital in the beginning, as I decided to never invest more than I can comfortably lose. For me, I fell in love with compound interest. The thought of my money earning money, which in turn earned more money, was mesmerizing to me. So I immediately went out trying to work out how can I implement this process in my own financial life. This meant both of us had to open a brokerage account. I bought my first stocks at a national bank, but I quickly realized that the cost of buying stocks was unsustainable. So after some good old internet sleuthing, I decided to try out the Giro. It was a scary time, as I had never invested before. But the world belongs to the bold, right? So I opened my Giro account and made some gains, some losses, and the rest is history. Then I also opened a new net account to diversify into index funds and to use my national tax savings account, which will pay off in the long term, I'm sure. I, on the other hand, chose Nordnet directly because I wanted to be sure that I would not make any big mistakes in the beginning. It was also very important for me to make sure I did not pay too much in fees. The low-cost index options allow me to fill both my Criteria. We have talked about index funds many, many times on the channel, but if you want to get a great understanding about how they work, I will leave a link to our most relevant video in the description. However, pretty soon I also wanted to try my hand at individual stock picking. To do this, I decided to start learning as much as I could about investing, since I knew it was a difficult thing to do successfully, and many ended up losing money in the process. And it's gone! This led me to reading a lot, and I have made a video on the top 5 books I recommend that every investor should read. You will also find that in the description. So, we have spent the whole year learning and through our different methods, we came out with 6 steps that we try to implement in our own investing. We made videos on all of the principles. These are in the playlist called How to Invest in Stocks, which is in you guessed it, the description. First, we learned how to spot the winners. What should we concern ourselves with? We found that investing in what we knew was the best way forward. I bought AMD due to the influence of people around me early and that panned out quite well. We learned to research not only stocks, but the markets in which companies operate in. Sometimes you don't only buy a company, you buy a market. Then, the harsh reality is that not every investment should be made. Spotting losers is as important as spotting winners. Sometimes you can't be afraid to roll up your sleeves and dive into some financial statements to get a better overview of the company and just not YOLO it, no matter how cool the product or the company is. Then, we got in love with the darlings of many investors, the PE ratio and other financial ratios. It happened to most of us eventually. They're quick and easy to read. You should not always follow these ratios, but you should always be aware of them. Finally, we got in touch with the true value of stocks and started calculating the intrinsic value of stocks. This process is not the easiest, but it's still something you should absolutely learn how to do and we always recommend that you try to calculate the intrinsic value of businesses. But you can't just buy stocks forever. Sometimes you have to sell. Do it. We haven't sold stocks many times yet and I still regret most of the times I have done it. Selling stocks is an art in itself, and many people believe you should only buy stocks that you can hold forever. Is this possible though? We don't know. But after one year of investing, we can definitely say that you should pay great respect to the sell button on any brokerage account, because when you hit that button, Uncle Sam might come knocking. Speaking of which, Taxes! We had to figure out how all of this would be taxed as well. This of course depends a lot on where you live, but if you live in Finland, like us, you are in luck, because we have an entire playlist dedicated to just taxes. Taxes upon taxes upon taxes. At this point, you probably know where to find it. It's in the description. 
Now, if you are someone just starting out with investing, I really recommend that you first of all subscribe to the channel because this is all we talk about here, as well as check out this next video where I cover 80% of the most important things to understand about investing in just four minutes. Come on, gotta click on that title. Oh, and we almost forgot. Happy, Happy investing. investing.